Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with a six-box, half-case, pick-your-team break, number 10, of 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. Folks, believe it or not, this is our last break. We don't have any more. Now, we've got um, some 2016 soccer in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com if you want to keep the, the soccer going. But this is it for 2018 Prism World Cup, so thanks, everybody. Remember the Wolverine slash marks that I made on, on the boxes so you know they're from the same case right here. Not every box has an autograph, as you know by now. Now remember, folks, if you bought at least three teams, as you saw in the item description, if you bought at least three teams in this break, you will be eligible for one entry for $75 of break credit. If you bought more than three, you, only, you still only get one entry max, but think about it, you block people from getting entries, thus improving your odds. Just to remind me. I'll probably forget anyway. All right, here we go. Good luck. Is Mbappe in this set? Asks Mike Tower. Um, Kip certainly hopes so. He has France. Does he? He should, actually. I think he does. This is 2018, so yeah, he, he must. I think some of his uh, some of his parallels alone are going for like hundreds, because they're World Cup winners and France Le Bleu, and he is also the young player of the uh, of the tournament. At France, that French team may may just keep getting better and better. In two years, they'll do the European team only version of the World Cup. So it'll be uh, it'll just be all the European teams in a World Cup style format, and France might win that one too. In fact, where um, so UEFA Euro twenty twenty is going to start in June in a couple of years. So I'm sure there'll be actually some fun soccer sets um, coming out then as well. Oh, so there's no there's no host country folks. It's the the Euro 2020 Euro 2020 is going to be in 12 cities in 12 European countries from 12th of July to the 12th, 12th of June to, to the 12th of July. A lot of 12s there. That's pretty cool, actually. It's the 60th anniversary or birthday of the European Championship competition. And so the final, the final will be in Wembley. They're planning to host the semifinals and the final. That's pretty cool. That sounds like a... Should we, should we all save up for a summer trip, you guys? You guys want to save up for a summer trip in a couple years? We'll go backpacking in Europe. And just go from venue to venue. That's right, Mike Tower, second teenager to score a goal in the World Cup. Mbappe is second teenager to score a goal in the World Cup. The other guy, Pele, and I think that was in 1966. There's Alexander Mitrovic out of 199. There's Ivan Perisic for that strong Croatian team. Man, they seem they seem tireless. There's Mbappe. We'll save one of those base cards. For uh, Kip and for Brazil, Philip Coutinho, former Liverpool man. That's my club. Gabriel with Brazil and Coutinho. Nice. That Brazilian team is going to be strong in, uh, in the next World Cup. Which I'm considering going to, folks. In Qatar, or Qatar, however you want to say it. Um, 
Because I, I was thinking to myself, there's Miguel Layun. I was thinking to myself, I don't think I would ever just randomly go to, you know, the Middle East or like Qatar or Dubai or United Arab Emirates or, you know, I don't know if I'd just be like, oh, let's just randomly take a trip there. I don't know if there's really not a lot from, I think you have to be rich, <laughs> you know, um, to really enjoy everything out there. But if there's like, a, you know, if there's like soccer there watch soccer matches there could be fun that'd be a reason to go 71 out of 99 Fahad ul muwal mualad there we go mualad that's for saudi arabia that'll be for daniel patera is mbappe the youngest world cup winner I don't know because there may have been a World Cup. There may have been like a – could be a 17-year-old kid or 16-year-old kid on a team, but he may not have played anything. You know, he may not have played minutes. He was just on the bench, and he might have still gotten a World – you know, could have been on that World Cup team perhaps. So that I don't know for sure. Has to be among the youngest though. That's right, Bill. It, uh, the the next World Cup in four years will be um, will be in December. Which should be which is going to be interesting. Weather, of course, out there is going to be fantastic. Um, that might now there's N'Golo Kante who could have been. A uh, could have been a could have been the golden ball winner, the MVP of the World Cup. Um, the December World Cup is going to kind of screw up. It's going to kind of screw with uh, with I believe um, with England, the Premier England prim Premier League schedule, because most of the European leagues, I think. Spain, Italy, Germany, they all have uh, they all have um, winter winter breaks. So they all take like three or four weeks off in like December. So for them, it naturally kind of falls into the winter break period. But the English Premier League, you know, they're just, they're just playing nonstop in December. In fact, there's there's fixture uh, match congestion there around there, especially around Boxing Day. Christmas and Boxing Day, a lot of holiday, holiday scheduling, a lot of footy, a lot of soccer. So the English Premier League will have to kind of work around that entire schedule, or they might not. I wonder if they won't. They might actually not. I wonder if they won't. And it'll just be some of the bigger teams that'll be losing, that'll just lose players for that tournament. That'll be actually having looked into how the the English Premier League will, will handle that situation. Nice. Robert is saying uh, Spectra sold out. Nice. So we'll be able to do that in a couple hours. Schedule is in the chat, folks. If you want to get an idea of what we're uh, where we're at tonight. And by the time we get – so Prism World Cup, after this will be uh, Topps Allen Ginter Baseball, then a quick one-box break of Valiant, then Spectra Basketball. And then um, by the by the end of that, we'll only have like a couple hours left in the broadcast before we break for a couple days for, uh, for my weekend, and then I'll be back on Tuesday. So if you want to try to squeeze some other breaks in, let's get it going.
There's Alberto Rodriguez, 145 out of 199 for Peru. Bill says, I think the Premier League will have to expand uh, first-team rosters to allow players to leave for the World Cup. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how they handle it. And of course, after that World Cup, the World Cup will be here in North America. And I think that's where um, I think that's where the they're they're supposed they're, they're supposedly. Still holding on to the idea that they're going to expand the tournament to 48 teams or something like that, from 32 to 48, when it comes to the United States. I don't know if I, you know, I don't know if I like that. I mean, even with 32 teams, there are still like a handful of just really bad teams, you know. So you're going to be watching a lot of just not very good teams playing <laughs> against each other with 48. 53 out of 125. That's uh, Mohamed El um, Neni for Egypt. That's for Kip. I think Paulinho is now on Liverpool. Liverpool's finally signing a keeper. Brazil's Alisson. Alisson Becker. So happy about that. I think... No, I actually think the final bill in the United States for the World Cup after next... I've heard... Um, there's 47 out of 99. I'm not even going to attempt that one. Apologies to my Persian friends out there. Yeah, I think the final they're going to have at MetLife in New, in New York. I don't think they've they've actually settled that yet, but that's that seems to be the idea. But yeah, if, I'm I'm not happy with the 48 team thing. I think there's just that's just way too much. Hopefully, they revisit that idea and not do it. Should we save World Cup winner Anton Griezmann? We should. And we got Road to Russia for Austria, David Alaba. That's for Daniel Patera and Austria. Nice. I thought these were going to be one of the boxes with a low number parallel but no autograph, but we got the auto there. Nice. There's Joel Campbell, Costa Rica. That's out of 125. There was Johan Berg Gudmundsen. One twelve to one uh, to one twenty five, and this is, you know, Fran they won Fran they won Kip. So I'll sleeve up some of these these main guys for Le Bleu. All right, box three. I have not heard the Golo Conte song. No, is it good? It's a Chants and singing, it's it's a thing in soccer, folks. They they, they make up, they make up uh, all these fun songs for a lot of players. It's enjoyable. And that's right, Eric Jennings. Our, our our World Cup venues, stadiums will not go unused. Yeah, I actually don't know um, what they're going to do in Qatar. Because I think they're building like five or six stadiums in Qatar. Um, and um, I want to say that – and this kind of sounds crazy. I'm gonna, I'm, I want to say that they're going to be built in such a way that they can take it apart – and send it to – they're going to sell the stadiums essentially and send it elsewhere, somewhere in the world. 
I think I, I someone correct me if I'm if I'm wrong or crazy, but I feel like that's what they're gonna do. I think I think they may air condition a lot of them. Air, oh, actually no, I think in December in Qatar I hear that the weather is like in the 70s. I don't think it's that bad. They may not have to do the air conditioning a bit. But yeah, so I'm not. I think that's one of the th things I heard about the stadiums in Qatar. But I, I have no idea what they're. Uh, I have no idea what they're gonna do. In reality, because they certainly don't have. Their, it's a tiny country. That I don't think they're gonna have much use for like five massive soccer stadiums. Yeah, that oil money did probably grease a lot of palms. Those corrupt FIFA guys just cashed out. There's Irving Lozano. Nice. 11 out of 65. Promising start for Mexico in the World Cup, but didn't quite get there. I thought Belgium was could have won the whole thing. They got close. They, they're the third place guys now. Disappointing for Argentina. There was Javier Mascherano there. Luka Modric, your golden ball winner. There's Harry Kane, your uh, golden boot winner, and top goal scorer. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of refractors in this set, so I think this is actually a pretty nice one, England. Kip Kip Hooray with the three Lions. There you go. That's just a regular base card. I'll sleeve one of those up for you, Croatia, which is also Kip. Oh, man. Kip picking up a lot of good teams here. Who's got Mexico? Kip? Kip. With this one, 11 out of 65. An autograph? Maybe. No? Wow. Look at that. 1934 World Cup champions. Italy. Forza Azzurri. 8 out of 25. Nice low number on that one. Bill Mosher with Italy. That is nice, Bill. Very cool. There's Gilfie Sigurdsson. Oh, is there is there not going to be any alcohol in Qatar? I feel like they're going to still have to sell it to... There's Filip Kostic, 10 out of 149 for Serbia. I feel like they still have to... to sell it to the tourists, right? Maybe I won't be going to Qatar. <laughs> We'll save one of these messy inserts for Argentina. Might be one of the last. I, this might be the last. Uh, last one. No, I, I get why there's no alcohol there, but in general, the dirt. But I thought that there was, you know, someone was going to give them a pass for, like the stadium. For the World Cup. Like, I think um, they let some of the, they, they, I think they let some of the, uh, I think Tunisia and Egypt, Saudi Arabia had a couple, um, or, you know, teams with heavy, with a lot more Muslim players. It was during Ramadan. 
World Cup was during Ramadan. I think they kind of gave him a pass on some of the fasting. Six out of 20, Andre Gomes for Portugal. So this is the low number card that will replace the autograph right there. We'll see how Germany bounces back in the Euro 2020. Also, they may allow some booze in Western hotel. Okay, so if I if I stay like at a Hilton, Hilton Qatar, then I think I'll be fine, Stephen K. I think I think I'll keep I'll keep my head head on top of my shoulders. Guitar, or maybe not. I don't know. What if I bought a bunch of those like little mini bottles of Jameson over? You think I get through customs? Probably not. Uh, they, they've got four years to figure it out. I've got four years to plan it. One of my buddies went to uh, went to Moscow, went to Russia for the World Cup. For like a week or so. He said it was great. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out of Prism World Cup soccer, but we do have some 2016. Some 2016 uh, Panini soccer products on jazpiecehobbyland.com. Noir. 2016 Panini Noir Soccer and 2016 Panini Select Soccer are both in the store. JaspiesHobbyland.com are, are both eligible. Um, are both eligible for tonight's All Spots Sold promo. So check it out. JaspiesHobbyland.com. All the details are there. Just buy those spots. And ladies and gentlemen, we do have a, a few breaks, including while we're doing this, we do have a few breaks backed up. There's a schedule in the chat right there. By the time we're done with all the, all the breaks that have sold out, that'll take us to about the to the last couple hours of the broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. So start thinking ahead uh, on what you want to get into to close out not only tonight but the week. We're not back until Tuesday. That's for Iceland. That'll be for Daniel Patera with Finn Bogason. Finn Bogason. Very happy about this guy finally being Liverpool keeper. The most expensive transfer fee for a goalkeeper, I think... I think in all of soccer, actually. Oh, these are great. Christian Eriksen for Denmark. I've got a friend who's in Denmark right now. She's in Copenhagen. She said she loves it. That is great. She's going to see The Little Mermaid. Maybe see Christian Eriksen. So these national landmark cards, Denmark, that's really are very short printed so this could go for a lot and especially for you know especially for some of the more recognizable players like Christian Eriksen Indeed Eric Jennings a lot, lot of preseason action happening um, there's Ahmed Hagazi we'll save one of these Cristiano Ronaldo's too Um, yeah, the, the international club champions cup thing is happening here. And I think, I think the final, it's like a kind of sort of a pseudo exhibition tournament for 
preseason tournament for the the club teams. I think the final might be here in L.A. I think tickets are super expensive, though. 34 out of 65 for Egypt. And that goes to Kip. Nice Lionel Messi. Now, these ones aren't numbered. That's why I've been kind of breezing by them. But they will all ship, of course. Gilfi Sigurdsson. Wow, nice Hamas Rodriguez. Cracked ice. Four out of 25. That is cool. That's a good looking card for Colombia. And that'll go to Jason Lawner. Nice one, Jason. Two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. All right, Jeremy Anderson. I know, I'm watching the game. Jeremy Anderson, I actually, one of my baseball picks of the day for entertainment purpose only was the Brewers. So I know that the Dodgers don't like scoring runs for Clayton Kershaw. <laughs> You gotta be Jeremy Anderson. You gotta be cold-hearted, even 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 if that means betting against your own team. If you want to be a serious uh, serious baseball better, um, I'm no sharp though. Not yet. someday. Um, they said you Juve sold 500,000 shirts of Cristiano Ronaldo the first day available. Wow. Well, I mean, at like what? Probably. Probably a hundred bucks a pop. That'll kind of help. That, that might pay for a week of Cristiano Ronaldo's salary. <laughs> That's a lot of shirts, though. All right. Olivier Giroud, 149 out of 199. Diego Godin, and we've got Pizzek Fundamentals Refractor. Those are a little more short printed. So the Poland Refractor will go to Gabriel, and the World, World Cup champion, Olivier Giroud, goes to Kip Kip Hooray. Out of 199 for Le Bleu. A blue for Le Bleu. And we've got David De Gea. Nice. That's a very short short print right there. That goes to Spain. That'll be for Rick T. Probably one of the one of the better keepers in the world for my rival team, Manchester United.
We got Jamie Vardy for the Three Lions. 81 out of 99. That's for Kip. Harry Kane, Refractor, your golden boot winner for Kip in England. We'll, we'll save one of those Parasitches as well. So Kip, or I'm sorry, so TJ, looking up the amount of shirts sold and the dollar amount. Oh, nice. Marcelo Brozovic. Brozovic. Eight out of ten. Nice low number for the World Cup runner-ups, Croatia. That'll be for Kip. Nice, Kip. And Kip, Kip uh, check the information. He says it's, uh, yeah, over 500,000 shirts and at $62.4 million. Wow. TJ's like, I, TJ's like, I'm the director of merchandising for the wrong club. Yeah, TJ, move to Northern Italy. Dang. And how much could each of those shirts cost? Like, what would the cost be, TJ, right? They're probably criminally low, and the margin is probably super high. So that, that, that covers some paychecks. <laughs> That keeps the keeps the lights on at the stadium. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, Kip. I like that. Kip says, "Hey, sign Ronaldo to the Drillers." Or actually, TJ also they've got a they have a Tulsa has a, a USL soccer team out there. The Roughnecks, I think, TJ, is that right? So, oh man, what if, uh, that would be a coup. If Cristiano Ronaldo, um, if Cristiano Ronaldo was just like, yeah, I've done all that I could at Juventus, I've won another Champions League, a couple titles, you know, I'm ready to end my career with the Tulsa Roughnecks. Oh man, Do you, that stadium would, would would be packed, and I, and they're both they're both owned by they're owned by the Drillers owners. So they they've got it there. So there you go. All right, yeah, actually, Didier Drogba did sign with. F that's right. Yeah, I, I could see it. All right, so maybe maybe CR7 goes to goes to an MLS team for a few years, but the very last year, you know, just when he's like 38 years old or 39 years old, you know, just get him in get him in with the Roughnecks for his for a season. People all over the world will be buying those shirts. All right, two more, another pack. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, I don't think CR7 is going to be playing states. All those guys in the World Cup are taking, you know, they're they're taking a break. They're taking a vacation. Get their legs back because they played like an ex, almost an extra handful of games. There's Moutinho to 40. John Obi Mikel for Nigeria. 
I think uh, Kip with the Nigerians. It's out of 40. Marcus Berg. Emil Forsberg. Thirty-six out of forty. We'll save one of these two for the for Croatia. Philip Kostic for Serbia. There's no autograph, maybe no autograph in this in this last box here. We got Casper Schmeichel out of 199. His dad was also a very accomplished goalkeeper. There's Allison, new Liverpool man. And looks like that is that, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, Jesus Corona at the end. But a very nice break. We got some gold. We got that landmark, that Coutinho autograph for Brazil. A lot of great stuff, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to try to win some break credit tonight, visit jazbeeshobbyland.com and join those 2016 Noir and Select soccer breaks. To get a shot at some break credit tonight. Get your spots in. Can't win if you don't play. All right, so for this particular break, not only can you win break credit in this break, but also in the All Spot Sold promo later tonight. Now, for this one, you had to buy at least three teams to get one entry. So let's alphabetize by name. So Bill got three. Daniel got a bunch. Blocked a lot of people from getting entries. Gabriel got at least one entry. James has an entry. All right, so the Chris, Chris, Daniel, Enoch. We got James. All right, Jameson. Jason L. Got at least three. Kip got a good handful of teams. Lee and Nino. All right, that's one of the smaller entry lists. Only seven. All right, so let's go to – there's ram, my random.org bookmark right there. All right, so let's get some dice. Let's get a blank list. Let's get them in here. And the name on top will get 75 bucks. winner take all. Name on top after two and a two, four times for the hard way. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. Name on top, James. There you go. 75 bucks of break credit coming your way. Thanks very much, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Remember, buy those two other soccer breaks on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Try to win some more break credit. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.